Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on 1010 KSIR. This morning from Sunset Park and Brush, it's the opening round of the Patriot League Tournament as the visiting Platte Valley Broncos take on the Brush Bee Diggers. And a pleasant good morning, everyone. I'm John Beltran. A game that started just a bit early is already in the bottom of the first inning. Platte Valley did not score in the top of the first as Andrew Shaw grounded a first on a 2-0 pitch. Jason Haar on an 0-1 pitch and also grounded a first. Then on a 1-1 pitch, Gerardo Gonzalez hit a fly ball, a small flare that was caught again by the first baseman, James Ginther. Bryson Lasseter on the hill for the Beat Diggers today. Here is the lineup for the Beat Diggers. Brett Okerson bats first and is the second baseman. The catcher, Travis Bass, hits second. Josh Gutierrez in center hits third. Pitcher Bryson Lasseter hits fourth. Terry Steiner, the shortstop, hits fifth. First baseman, James Ginther, hits sixth. Pepe Aguilar in left hits seventh. Third baseman, Jorge Fierro, hits eighth. And right fielder, Michael Cummings, hits ninth. Still looking for an infielder there for Platte Valley. Augie Barros was supposed to be in right field, and now he's at second base. We can tell you the first baseman, Gerardo Gonzalez, over at third is Mauricio Rosales. The shortstop is Andrew Shaw around the outfield. Nathan Woods in left, Joey Reynolds in center. And again, not sure who's in right. But anyway, the first pitch delivered is a strike on the outside corner from Brady Prawl to Brett Okeson, hitting 492 this season. Leading the team with 23 base hits. The wind and the 0-1 from the right-hander. Swung on and foul tipped to the plate on a curveball. The count goes to 0-2. Prawl just a sophomore. A very, very young Platte Valley team. They are 4-15 and on the year. Losers of seven straight. Six in a row by double digits. The Beat Diggers 11-8. and Number one for the Blue Division. They won their last two against Ray to get to this point. Curveball is swung on and popped up into right center field. Out goes the second baseman in the right fielder. Dives, and it's off his glove on a dive. And that'll be a base hit for Okus and a tough chance over there. As the ball was nearly caught, that is Augie Barrows. And right field just does not match up with the number here. And that will be a base hit for Okus on the dive. Got him on the webbing of the glove, but he was diving for that baseball. So a good start for the Beat Diggers. Incidentally, at second base, now we've confirmed it's David Jaramillo. So David Jaramillo at second base for Platte Valley. And you got to make those big plays if you're going to have any chance of winning this game. Throw back to first, back in diving is Okeson. That definitely a catchable ball by Barrows in right field. But with all that momentum, even though the ball hit him right in the center of that glove, just couldn't hold on to it. Bass is squaring to bunt. And the pitch home runner going, takes it for a ball inside, throw to second. It's going to be off to the shortstop side. And it'll be a stolen base standing for Brett Okeson, his 10th stolen base of the year. As they will be testing the Platte Valley catcher, Shane Reynolds. One ball and no strikes to Travis Bass. A 358 hitter, fourth on the team. The stretch by Prawl, big lead at second. And the throw back to second. Nothing doing, Okerson back in. The Beat Diggers were on a five game losing streak and needed a sweep Ray on Saturday and did to advance to, advance to this spot. The pitch. Bass swings and fouls it off to the right on a fastball. One ball and one strike. Garnsey and Wheeler Ford, incidentally, has just about everything in stock, including F-150 trucks. Your in-town Ford dealer, Garnsey and Wheeler Ford in Fort Morgan. One ball, one strike. Nobody down, bottom one, no score between Brush and Platte Valley. The pitch to Bass, and he swings and misses at a fastball below the knees, and the count goes to one and two. University and Estes Park will play the second game at 1.30. University the heavy favorite in that one, even though this Platte Valley team of their four wins, one of them was against 10-7 and seven University. The 1-2 pitch and the breaking ball high and in. Two balls and two strikes. The Beat Diggers did explode for six runs in the first two innings in what basically amounted to be the championship game in the Blue Division against Ray on Saturday, that second game. They went on to the 10-3 win, preceded by a 4-2 win in the opening game. And the stretch by Prawl, the throwback to second, 
Adamillo drops the baseball, but nothing doing. Gorgeous morning. Not a cloud in the sky. The temperature in the lower 50s. And it will continue to get warmer as the day progresses. Wind blowing from left to right. And the 2-2 pitch. Bass swings and misses at a fastball low and away. Did not have one of his better at-bats. And there is one down in the bottom of the first. He tried to go the other way with that pitch. And missed it by quite a bit. Josh Gutierrez, you better. Josh right, Gutierrez. On deck. 607 batting average. He leads Brett Okeson going into this game by 115 points. This kid has been on fire. 15 runs batted in. The pitch home. Gutierrez takes a curveball well outside. All the pressure here on the Beat Diggers. They're the number one seed. Platte Valley, the number five out of their division. And the Beat Diggers one year ago lost to Highland. Seven to five in the opening round. They remember that bitter defeat on April 29th. The pitch. And that fastball is a strike on the outside corner just above the knees. And very much like Tim Crow of Ray, this pitcher, Brady Paul, of Platte Valley taking something off that fastball, trying to get the Beat Diggers out in front. Big lead at second. Prawl looks in, looks back. 1-1, and that is taken for a strike. Fastball on the outside corner at the knees. 1-2. and two. The Beat Diggers with the first scoring opportunity of the game. Bryce and Lassiter needed just eight pitches to retire Platte Valley in the opening frame. A 1-2 pitch to be made to Gutierrez, and he swings and misses at a curveball. Two consecutive strikeouts. That'll bring up Bryson Lasseter. The beat diggers a little bit tight in the early going. And Platte Valley has nothing to lose. They've been playing poor baseball lately. As we mentioned, on a seven-game losing streak, and six their last six games have all been decided by ten runs or more, so they have zero to lose. The beat diggers have everything to lose. Four teams from the Patriot League qualify for the regional tournament. You have to win twice today. These are elimination games, all three. Next game, as I mentioned, at 1.30. Then the final game today at 4 o'clock, and Shane Reynolds concludes his lengthy conversation with pitcher Brady Prawl. Gutierrez strikes out for only the fifth time this year. And here is Lasseter hitting 419, the big right-handed hitter. The pitch home. Fastball well off the plate. When the Beat Diggers defeated Ray in the opening game of the Twin Bill, they scored all their runs with two down. And now Lasseter being asked to do the same thing. He remembers a year ago. His punch out to end the game ended the Digger season. The 1-0 pitch, and he takes a fastball up and in. Two balls and no strikes with a very reliable sophomore, Terry Steiner, on deck. Back in the box is Lassiter. The throw back to second. That time, the shortstop, Andrew Shaw covering, but Okuson back in plenty of time. Beat Diggers at one point this season were 9-3. and three. But the good thing, they perhaps have gotten their bad baseball out of the way. As we mentioned on a mini two-game winning streak, it is 2-0 to Lassiter. The stretch and the pitch, and he takes it for a strike down the middle, an off-speed pitch at the knees. It's 2-1. and one. Off balance is the best way you get these hitters out, just about any hitter out. It'll be a 2-1 to Lassiter coming up momentarily. Prawl looks back in the pitch, and that is taken for a ball low and away. Three balls and one strike. To Bryson Lassiter. Here in the bottom half of the first inning. The pitch home, and he takes it for a ball, low and away. Another fastball thrown by Brady Prawl, and the beat diggers with runners at first and second. And they've got two down in the opening frame with Terry Steiner at the plate. The sophomore hitting 327. He has 13 runs batted in, many of them clutch, including a game winner against Yuma. Big lead for Okeson. That's a huge lead, and no throw to second, just a step off. Close to about a five- to six-step lead over at second. 
Okuson wants to make sure he scores on a base hit to the outfield. Brady Prawl looks in, and the pitch. Swing and a foul tip into the catcher's glove. It's 0-1. Steiner a little bit out in front. Runners take their leads. No balls and one strike. Big gap to right center field. A huge gap if Steiner can go the other way. And he swings and misses the curveball. It's 0-2, and, and Prawl, all of a sudden, even though he's in trouble, one pitch away from striking out the side. No balls, two strikes, two out, two on. Bottom one, no score in the opening game. The pitch, swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. The throw to first will be made to officially retire Steiner. And Brady Prawl, the sophomore for Platte Valley, surprisingly strikes out the side in the first. We go to the second inning. Brush, nothing. Platte Valley, nothing. You're listening to the opening round of the Patriot League Tournament on 1010 KSIR.